Hey guys, this is Robbie's Reviews, and in this video, I'm going to be rating and reviewing the Canada Goose Pritchard jacket. Check out my website in the description box below. There I have like 100 Canada Goose coats, and they're all for sale. Some are used, some are new, and they're all at a pretty good price. Alright, so like in all my rating review videos, I rate my coats and my jackets based on four categories. Those categories are functionality, features, quality, and comfort. I'm going to start with talking about the functionality of the Pritchard jacket. Alright, so the functionality of this jacket, um, I noticed that it will keep you warmed kind of down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. If you're going to be in environments where you're in the negatives, I would recommend like the Chilliwick or another um, kind of thicker jacket than this because this jacket has a little less down in the front of it. As you'll notice, it has this quilted design. It just generally has less volume of down fill in it than the Chilliwick and uh, like the Borden or the Chateau jacket. So some good things about that is just it gives it a sleeker look. You also get a lot of warmth and you get a little bit better temperature regulation with the Pritchard jacket as compared to like the Chilliwick. This jacket will do a great job of keeping your head and your face warm. It has this deep tunnel hood, which I've talked about in a lot of my videos, but I just like noting it because it's a big deal for me, you know, keeping my head and my face warm. So when you put the hood up all the way like this, you can zip it up farther. And then you just don't need to wear a hat or a scarf. In terms of wind resistance and water resistantness, this jacket has a lighter exterior kind of material. It's this nylon material. Um, it's thinner, so it's not going to do as good of a job at keeping the wind off of your body as the thicker cotton blend um, exterior that most Canadian parkas and bomber jackets do have. Um, the water resistantness I noticed to be roughly about the same. So don't wear this jacket when it's extremely windy or you're going to experience some more moderate to uh, severe precipitation. So all in all though, I'm impressed with how warm it keeps me versus the volume of the down in this jacket. I'm impressed with the wind resistantness mostly and I'm impressed with the temperature regulation of this jacket and then the head warmth it provides. So this jacket gets an 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to functionality. Alright, so next up is features. This jacket has two YKK zippers on the front, they're heavy duty. You got a storm guard underneath that. You got two lower pockets down here. They're diagonal cut pockets. They are not zipper enclosed, but they are fleece lined. You have a Napoleon pocket on the left hand side here, which is pretty deep actually. You got some drawstrings right here to pull the hood in tighter when it's up on your head. You've got the elastic heavy duty rib cuffs here. The hood has a removable coyote fur on it. It's a tunnel hood, so it zips up really high up like this. The hood is not removable on this jacket. Inside the jacket you have another Napoleon pocket on the left side. It's about small to medium size I guess. There are no inside pockets in this jacket. On the exterior you have a cotton nylon blend that's in most Canada Goose jackets. And then you have this nylon blend on the rest of the jacket. So the parts on the shoulders and the hood and even the back of the jacket just do a pretty good job at giving you a little bit more protection from precipitation or from wind because a lot of heat does escape in your shoulders. Um, I've noticed when I've worn Canada Goose coats and it's also a lot of precipitation will fall there because you know it's just a higher point up on your jacket and on your torso. I do like a lot of the features on this jacket. I think it's designed really well. I do wish they had more inside pockets so I wish it just had at least one more drop down mesh pocket um, just because I think it could be added without you know taking anything away from the jacket. But overall this jacket has some really nice features. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 when it comes to features. Alright so next up is quality. Now this jacket is more expensive than most Canada Goose bomber jackets. It retails for a little over a thousand dollars so it's pretty pricey. Now with that higher price tag I've noticed that the um, Pritchard jackets have usually better fur on them and what I mean by that is they usually have thicker and softer coyote fur ruffs on that. In terms of quality on the rest of the jacket, the exterior shell is an exterior shell that I really have kind of wished Canada Goose would adapt more in their other jackets like the Chilliwick. All the other uh, kind of components on this jacket like the zipper, the chin, the chin guard, the uh, cuffs and everything else in the jacket are all made really well. So this jacket overall gets a 9 out of 10 when it comes to quality. Alright so last up is comfort. Now this is where this Pritchard coat really shines is because like I said before, the exterior shell is just lighter. It's not only more breathable, but it's also just gives you a little bit more range of motion. So this jacket in general is just really comfortable. And it's a bomber jacket, and I personally like bomber jackets a little bit more. And I really value comfort when I'm buying a jacket. I just like a lightweight, comfortable jacket that keeps me warm. And this jacket does that. The Chilwick does it. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 when it comes to comfort. All right, so that's the review rating of the Canada Goose Pritchard jacket. This is a total score for the coat.